spring has arrived in Arizona, and along with it an unparalleled bumper crop of 39 entries for round 6 of the Scottsdale Ferrari Apex Challenge Series, presented by Coffin and Trout, featuring a record-setting 23 GT and 16 Radical Racers. The GT feature race was headlined by the growing class of Porsche 911 GT3 Cup cars. Jordan Darling took his second straight pole, but it was Chris Hansen who once again methodically worked his way forward to capture the win after post-race review confirmed that Ralph Ludwig's pass for the lead was made in a caution zone. Championship points leader Scott Needham finished fourth. Wonderful day, I'm really happy with everything and uh, you know, great, great, just being here at Apex is just so awesome. I mean, the people here, I mean, we have such a great culture here. You know, just wonderful people, and, and we're all so passionate about what we do here, you know? So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, next couple races. In GT4, it was the familiar faces and class points leaders of Joey and Joe Rainey who held first and second positions in their Audi R8s from start to finish. The Porsche GT4 club sports of newcomer Brannon Hankins stood out, finishing just 0.7 seconds behind the elder Rainey, and in doing so, achieved his first podium at Apex in only his third start. In Radical, Jace Bacon scored his first overall and gold-class pole of the season. He led 16 SR3s to the green flag alongside last year's champion Chris McMurray. The two ran cleanly side by side through the opening two corners, McMurray eventually leveraging his inside position at the third turn into the lead he would not relinquish. Jace battled with his father, Seth Bacon, well into the race, before a mistake allowed Andy Volkel to join Jace on the podium. I thought it was a pretty clean race. I mean, for me, it was once I got the little gap, a couple second gap, I just focused on hitting my marks, hit your marks, hit your marks, hit your marks, be clean, be as perfect as you can. Um, and that makes it difficult for people to catch up and, and that proved to work out well. With his fourth win, McMurray now moves into the gold class points lead, followed by Seth, Chase and Vogel. The top four have scored 83% of the podiums so far this season in the gold class. In the radical silver class, Blake McGovern took pole and maintained his lead from flag to flag, doing exactly what he needed to do to stay alive in the championship fight with Eric Griffin. If McGovern can take pole and win the last two rounds, Griffin will have to finish third or better twice to take the title. Coming into the first turn, uh, I was kind of just playing it slow, didn't want to cause any commotion, and got on the brakes early, had control of the car. I saw the two guys in front of me kind of scooted out wide, saw a window and took it, got to first place, and then just kind of sat there and ran my own race for the race. McGovern was joined on the podium by Lucky Ludwig, who started and finished second, both personal bests, and Evan Wolf came home in third. Wolf sits fourth in the championship, just seven points adrift of Carl Fredrickson. The GT Unlimited class finished with three different makes and models on the podium. The Porsche GT Club Sport RS of John Mollenkopf, the McLaren MP4 12C of Tommy Sadler, and the BMW E3 of Scott Dahlendorf, while Time Attack, Fastest and Consistency was won by Jeff Koenig and Zach Ply in his first showing of the season. On April 6th and 20th, the final two rounds and multiple championships will be decided for the 2023 to 2024 Scottsdale Ferrari Apex Challenge Series, presented by Coffin and Trout.